I'm originally from New Hampshire and I moved here to make it in TV. And uh, 10 years ago, I found myself um, in the second year of working at MTV as a production assistant. Um, I perfected getting coffee for people. Um, that's basically what I did. Um, with my boss, I got along really well with. I just had a tough time and everybody's leaving, so I'll just let them leave first. All right. Um, So uh, I perfected getting coffee for people, and, and I got really hit it off with my boss uh, because I would always get everybody tall coffees from Starbucks with a particular order, but I always make a mistake, and I would get a vente for Carol. And I say, I made a mistake, here you go. And after like a couple months, um, she said, do you have a girlfriend? And I'm like, no, no. And I was a very lonely state. I'd been here for like three years, and, and I didn't... I hadn't gone on any dates uh, since I moved there. And she's like, I want to set you up with a friend. You're a good guy, I want to set you up with a friend. And I was like, Ab absolutely. I didn't ask what she did, I didn't ask how she, what she looked like. I just I was so lonely, I just wanted to go out with someone. So um, I met this girl at Chumbly's and, uh, back when I was there, <laughs> and, uh, and we really hit it off. It was, she was a corporate lawyer, she was like a little older, she lived in the West Village. And like we just talked, and it was just nice to be on like a real date, having drinks, talking to a girl, asking her questions. She's asking me questions. It made me feel like I was important for once since I had moved here. So this went on. We started going, and I'm not a big money guy. I was making a hundred dollars a day, so we were going to a lot of diners, a lot, a lot of grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, a lot of pizza places, like one slice, and we split a, a drink. It was getting, it was going well. <laughs> the first couple of dates, like the closest I came to kissing her, I'm, I can, I'm a little shy and a little sensitive when we walk out, uh, as we know, um, but uh, I would just like hold her hand and I wouldn't even try to kiss her. But like it was just like a really, like I would get what, it was just nice. And after like the fourth date, she's like, you know, Adam, you can kiss me. And I was like, okay, okay, thank you. And I kissed her and I went well. And, and, and then, like about a month later, so we're on about like second month going out, and I'm a slow mover, and uh, we, we always dated around her. I lived in a basement in, in Fairview, New Jersey, so we weren't going there. Um, so, uh, so like one night, she's like, "Do you want to come up to my apartment?" And she had like a nice studio apartment. And I'm like, I, I, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So, so we go up and on the second floor. We we get it. it's a small place. Had a different odor. I didn't wasn't sure what it was in. She just laid on her bed, it was a small apartment, she laid on her bed and she's like, are you ready? <laughs> I haven't been with a lot of women. Uh, so I was there, I go, are you ready? And she's like, yes, are you ready? And I'm like, for, just tell me, for, for what? And she's like, to meet them. And I'm like, to, to meet who? And, it's like, you know, and then she's like, and then five cats jumped on her bed. And then she just kept doing it, and then the sixth one jumped on her bed. And I knew what the smell was. So things started going well besides the cats, and I, like, they didn't like me, and we had cats. This is not an anti I had Raisin Peaches, Raisin Junior growing up, they were always good cats. But these cats, I was invading the turf, and they are very territorial, and, um, like, make out, we'd do some things, and, and then we would sleep, and uh, it was a small apartment, and where the closet was, that's where she kept the litter box, and that's where I slept and it would smell. I mean, it would smell a lot and I would bring a lot of flowers. I, mean, I, I have a lot of allergies, but I would bring flowers to, to make the place smell good. And I, I was just trying, but it was my first real relationship in New York and in all honesty, it was like my first real relationship. So there's a lot of firsts in this uh, and uh, I didn't know how to really communicate to tell her like, you know, I'm a virgin, and uh, I'm like, I, I, you know, I don't know, I'm just happy to be with a woman, and uh, <laughs> like, uh, so I, I just kind of kept quiet, right? and she would say, just, you, you talk so much, and then once we get in here, you don't say anything. I'm like, oh, I'm a quiet lover, I, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, so then, then after a while, my libido was still good, but like, when, when the cats were going, she had a difficult time cleaning the litter box, and, and 
it would it would get to me and 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 it was getting to me and there was problems and and erectile dysfunction and, and like and I didn't know what to do and, and how to and, and she's like is everything oh you still like I like you it's just and then one night I just said like you know if you don't mind like can we put on some music and um, can you just clean the litter box and then it'll be all right everything will be good okay and then I like backed up and she's like yeah sure I'll clean it you should have asked and then she cleaned. And then the garbage that was literally actually like closer to where I slept, she just put it in there. You should, you, you know, just so you know, you should probably use the toilet when you do that. And she's like, no, the kitty litter will break the pipes. I was like, oh, oh, okay. So this continued to go on and on. And for six months, there was a six month anniversary. I brought ice cream, I was, was, was a gentleman. And I, and, and, but like you could tell things were growing apart between us. And uh, so we ate the ice cream and we're laying on the bed, just us two. And it was a nice moment. And I closed my eyes and I kissed her. And it was just a night of a simple kiss. And we just stayed there. And then I liked the Eskimo kiss or Eskimo kiss. And we just kissed. <laughs> and we're just holding each other. And it's this nice. It's, it's like a nice moment. I like to be held. And um, <laughs> then I opened my eyes. And there's six cats like looking at me. <laughs> and, like I just had it, and I said, you know, listen, I know Charlotte. You know, since Carol introduced us, like this has been really good, but I really have to tell you something. And she's like, well, I have to tell you something too. And I'm gonna do, like, I try to be a gentleman. I go, you first. <laughs> and she's like, you know, this really isn't working out. And she's like, you know, the magic we had isn't there anymore. And I just couldn't believe. I was getting dumped by her at that moment. So I, uh, I, I, was, I go, go goodbye, and I hugged her, and I left. And like, I thought, I figured after I broke up with her, I'd be very relieved, and I'd be a heartbreaker. <laughs> but this wasn't how I envisioned it. So I was walking out of her apartment, and I was just very emotional. And what I realized I was emotional about was I was going to be lonely again. And I didn't want to be lonely. So I moved on, thanks for the therapy session. Um, but um, two months ago, uh, I returned to the West Village. I really don't go there often. And I was going, I live in Hoboken now. So I was going to the PATH train and it took a sh shortcut and I walked down the block where she lived. And I hadn't been in that block and it had changed a little different, a couple of different storefronts. And then I walked by her apartment and it was on the second floor and I look in the window and there's like a night light so it's not that bright. But then there's, there was three cats in the window. <laughs> and I get really, really, like I'm not like an overly nostalgic guy and stuff like that. Um, I guess I am. Um, but it really hit me and, and I think the reason it hit me was because she was just like my first everything and I felt attached and like I just missed I don't know if it was her but like I'm like I missed myself back then so I waved to the cats and they just they didn't wave back they just they remembered I, you know. and I went down and I took the, the train home and I, I went Home, home, alone. Thank you. <laughs>